I wanted to express, you know, music. Can my audience relate to the song that I'm singing? It, the, 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 the feeling that you get is all about expression. So I love to be able to do that because I want to be able to relate to everybody. We all relate to love, hurt, pain, joy. I want to be able to express that with you. Hi, I'm Valtrenda from Valtrenda.com. And um, I want to share with you guys my playlist, my musical playlist. So um, everybody has a playlist, but my playlist, especially, I'm an 80s baby. So I have tons of 80s music, 90s music. I know it's almost 2017, but a lot of the music that I listen to is from the 80s and 90s R&B era. Um, and if I had to cover any of those songs, a few of them I would cover. One of them would especially be Jodeci. Jodeci's Come and Talk to Me, the remix. There's just, it's the, the song, uh, yeah, yeah, the song, but the music that goes with it is one of those songs that make you be like, oh, man, you know, come and talk to me, especially when the drum comes in real hard. <laughs> Everybody can relate to that. You hear that, you just be like, every time you hear it, it's just one of those head bobbing songs. You look so sexy. I'm scrolling through my playlist right now and one of my other favorite songs is Ascension by Maxwell. Everybody loves that song. I know I do. That bass line, oh man. So as soon as you hear that bass line and that song, boom, but dun 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 you're like, oh shit, it brings back so many memories. So to be able to cover that song, to be able to sing it, it brings so much life to me because it, it makes me go back to when I first heard it. And, and that's what music is all about. It's about feeling and expression. No, no, then I'll say it. So don't ever wonder. Don't ever wonder. I'm laughing because <laughs> Jill Scott, the way that song is just, when you hear it, it brings so much emotion because the lyrics in the song itself is basically saying, you know, why am I so giddy? Why am I, you know, beaming? Why am I? Oh, I get it. It's the way he loves me. So you hear that song, even when the song first came out, I'm, I was a lot younger than I am now. But, you know, the, the, the lyrics bring so much deep feeling. You'd be thinking, oh, yeah, I love the way he loves me. You don't even have a boyfriend or nobody. <laughs> but this is that's the that's the brilliance behind music. It be It's able to bring out those emotions. So that's one of the reasons why I love to cover that song. Woke up this morning With a smile on my face Jumped out of bed Took a shower Dressed Cleaned up my Okay, so Avery Sunshine, beast of an artist, right? She has a song called Call My Name. And I wanted to cover this song because of the, the lyrics, the emotion that goes behind that. Um, being a relationship coach, we all go through so many different things in our relationships. But me personally, I covered that song because when you hear what she's saying, she's like, listen, it, things aren't the same anymore. You don't even... You don't call my name. Do you know what that means? It, it goes deeper than just saying my name. It's calling my name. It means you yearn for me. You desire me. You want me. So that song for me was bit, it was very personal, you know, um, but I love her voice and her, her range. She's very, very genius when it comes to playing with a lot of songs. So that song is definitely in my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Can I bring something up? Don't mean to be confrontational. But lately we haven't made time. All right, so Tyrese. 
Tyrese is known to be this sexual chocolate drop of an artist. He's also an actor, but this particular song, Stay, I chose to cover this song because it's, it's just one of my favorite songs. So much soul in this song. And everybody used to talk about in the 80s, you know, Keith Sweat used to beg and all that. Well, Tyrese kind of brought back the begging with this song, but it was like, it was okay to beg for a while because because of how he sang it. And he was like, he basically was just honest. Don't leave me, please. I can't live without you. And we all go through that in relationships, but the song itself, so much soul. It's got a little bit of, you know, Al Green type of soul to it. So I love to cover that song. Probably um, one of my best songs to cover. I just can't let you go. Now I've got your ear, baby. All right, so I'm not a huge Beehive fan of um, uh, Beyonce. If you guys know, Beehive is Beyonce's fan base. But um, vocally, she's really good. And Love on Top, she kind of took me back to church with that song because back in the church choir days, you know, you always went up an octave and you sang different songs and you go up and up and up. And when she brought that to R&B and pop, we were like, oh my gosh, you know, so, so vocally and her range is outrageous in that song. So I wanted to try it cause I wanted to test my range a little bit. Um, but I had to start a little lower cause you know, I'm not Beyonce, but. <laughs> Um, I, I love to be able to cover that song. The song is so fun. It's fun. It brings back the joy of singing and performing and being behind the mic. You know, sometimes you're so much concentrating on the, the notes and the voices and this tone and all of this. But that song is fun. And she's singing about love, which is, of course, my slogan, show love. It's all about love. But to be able to sing about it and have fun with it, I think it brings a little bit more life to people who listen to the song. So that song, that song should be in everybody's playlist. Whether you're Beehive or not, you should totally get love on top. So I just went over, you know, just a few of the songs that are in my playlist that I choose to cover. There are so many more, but I wanted to express, you know, music. Music is about two different things. One is about feeling, okay? And it's about the, the artists, when they write these songs, a lot of them are going through these personal. So it's about relation. Can my audience relate to the song that I'm singing, to the feeling that goes with it, to the lyrics that I've written? And, and secondly, it's about expression. How, how do I express how I feel when I really can't put it into words? So a lot of times notes, the notes, the ranges of songs, the levels of it, the, 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 the feeling that you get is all about expression. So I'd love to be able to do that because I want to be able to relate to everybody. We all relate to love, hurt, pain, joy, but it's the, to be able to connect with the people. So I want to be able to connect with you. I want to be able to come to your event, to your show, to your church, whatever you may be having, um, to be able to express, you know, how we all are feeling, you know, about everything that's going on, love, joy, peace, happiness, right? I want to be able to express that with you. So at the end of this video, there will be a phone number for you to contact will be my website as well. And on that website, you'll be able to see a lot of other things that I'm doing. My podcast is about single, married, and divorced, about relationships, all right? I'm also an author of two books, Clearing the Residue of Marriage and Divorce and The Residue of Marriage and Divorce. So a lot of you can be able to relate through words, through a book. So if you're interested in that, you'll definitely wanna check out my website and, call, and just call me. Call my name, like Avery Sunshine says. <laughs> call my name. Don't call my name. Call the number. <laughs>